Salam and good evening, worthy friends and merry travelers. Welcome to Agrabah, city of mystery, of enchantment, and the finest merchandise this side of the River Jordan. I can see that you're interested in buying something exceptionally rare. I think you would be most rewarded to consider this. Don't be fooled by its commonplace appearance. Like so many other things, it's not what's on the outside, but the inside that counts. More than just an ordinary lamp, it once changed the course of a young man's life. A young man who, like this lamp, was more than what he seemed, a diamond in the rough. Perhaps you would like to hear one of our most famous legends, the tale of the magic lamp. It begins at the Cave of Wonders on a dark night where a dark man, Jafar, the Sultan's advisor, and his pet Iago lie in wait with a dark purpose. They have come to meet a thief named Gazim. You are late. A thousand apologies, O patient one. You are ready then? Yes. Come quickly, we must follow this trail. Ah, follow the trail. <laughs> ah, at last, after all my years of searching, the Cave of Wonders. Ah, Cave of Wonders. <laughs> now, you will fetch me the lamp. The rest of the treasure is yours, but the lamp is mine. Such a simple task. I shall return soon. Ha ha ha. Ah, the lamp. Where did they this climb up? <laughs> Who disturbs my slumber? It is I, Z, a humble thief. Know this, only one may enter here. One whose work lies far within. A diamond in the rock. A what? In the where? What are you waiting for? Go on! That's the third present that came to this week. How will I ever become certain without that now? How many peasants are we going to have to go through before we get our hands on that lamp? Look, I'm covered in dust again. I'm so upset that I'm molting. Patience, Iago, patience. The Z was obviously less than worthy. Oh, there's a big surprise. I might just have a heart attack and die. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, we have a huge problem. Silence! Bert, joking, Bert, joking. Yes, we do have a problem. We must find this diamond in the rock. But where could he possibly be? Only one I can afford, and that's the 
that's everything. Paula, Paula, 
just playing with that overdressed, selfish Prince Ahmed, weren't you? Darius, you've got to stop rejecting every suitor that comes to call. The law says that you must be married to a prince by your next birthday. But the law is wrong. We've only got three more days. Father, I hate being forced into this. If I do marry, I want it to be for love. Jeff, it's not just this law. I'm not going to be around forever. I want to make sure you're taken care of, provided for. That's because she's a princess. Well, maybe I don't want to be a princess. Yeah. I'm glad I only have one daughter. I don't know where she gets it from. Her mother wasn't nearly so picky. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the bar, my most trusted advisor. When dire need of your wisdom. My life is but to serve you, my liege. It's this suitor business. Jasmine refuses to pick up husband. I'm at my wit's end. What? Wit's end? Ha! I have a cracker for you, Polly. <laughs> Your sweet majesty always has a way with dumb animals. <laughs> now let's see if we can find a solution to this suitor business. If anyone can help, it's you. Let's discuss our options. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? 
Okay, you're very kind. You know, I wonder what it'd feel like to live in a palace up there. Have servants. And people to tell you where to go and how to dress. Better than down here. Yeah, always scraping for food and ducking for guards. You're not afraid to make your own choices. Sometimes you just feel so... You're just trapped. <laughs> so, where are you from? Oh, what does it matter? I ran away and I'm not going back. My father's forcing me to get married. Oh, that sounds awful. I wish I could help. My <laughs> friend. Well, like I said, don't you trust me? The name's Aladdin, but people call me... Straight right! Oh no, let's get out of here! Oh. There's no sense of running, boys. We have you surrounded.
What would you wish for? Me? Nobody's ever asked me that before. Huh. In that case, I wish for... Ah, it's not important. Oh, no, 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 please tell me. Freedom. You're a prisoner? Uh, yeah. The whole genie thing kind of means ultimate cosmic power. All turned up into an <laughs> But oh, to be my own master and not have to go poop. Princess. I'm quite sure. 
desperate times call for desperate measures, Your Majesty. You will order the princess to marry me. I must order the princess to marry me. But you're so old! <laughs> we cannot simply wait until somebody bursts through the door and announces that they are the love of Princess Jasmine's life. <laughs> Never! Presenting Prince Ali Ababa, the love of Princess Jasmine's life! <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm Prince Aliyah Just like your father and me, 
I'm sure to win the heart of your daughter. How dare you! All of you standing around deciding my future. I am not a prize to be won. Ah, don't worry, Prince Ali. You give Jasmine some time to cool down. She's a bit selective when it comes to her duties. I think it's time to say goodbye to Prince Abu. Can you know what am I going to do? The princess won't even talk to me. I know I can't kind of pull off a stupid prince wish. All right, Sparky, here's the deal. You want to court the little lady, you got to tell her the truth. The truth? That's right, the truth. If Princess Jasmine found out that I was some crummy old street rat, she'd blast with me.
You're very beautiful. Beautiful? Yeah. Hmm. I'm rich too, you know. Yeah. The daughter of a sultan. I know. A fine time for any prince to want to be. Yeah, prince. A prince like me. Right. A prince like you. And every other scutcher, swaggering peacock I met. Just go jump off the bus. You're right, princess. You should be free to make your own choices. You're not some prize if you want. I'm just gonna jump off your balcony. Oh, no, 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 no. Did you say my name? Were you worried about me? <laughs> how, how are you doing that? It's a magic carpet. <laughs> <laughs> say, you wouldn't want to go for a ride on it, you know, see the world. What is it safe? Yeah. Don't you trust me? What did you say? You trust me. Guys, something's wrong. I haven't heard 
from a land. In days. We must need our help. We must find some weapons. Wait! No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Consider this. Couldn't we just send a strongly worded letter? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, at long last. Go, fetch 
the royal family. Soon I will rule all of Agrabah. Pillar never fails. Every time I go to get into the bath, there's a rub at the lamp. Now, Aladdin, if you'll excuse me, I'm the Who are you? I believe you owe me three wishes. Don't do it, Jeannie. I'm sorry, kid. I have no choice. That's right. It's in the Jeannie rule book. Whoever controls the lamp, controls the Jeannie. I command you to let us go. How oh, dare you take the felt in the princess's way. Um, guys, I think we have a much bigger problem than the palace guards. What do you mean? Yes, you do have a big problem. Anybody with three wishes coming his way raise his hand. Oh, just me. <laughs> now, Jeannie, make me sultan. Getting something, Jafar? 
wanted to be a genie, you got it, and everything that comes with it. No! No! <laughs> Look at all that cosmic power and a little bitty living space. <laughs> I'm sorry that I lied to you. I know what you did. Well, I guess this is the divide. No, that lie is unfair. I love you. Oh, yeah. 